Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at the Lucky 4 Channel 10's EMS and Massage Therapy Unit. You can use this for pain relief, therapy, and ongoing maintenance. This is going to be your instructional video to introduce you to the product, turning it on, understanding the display screen, checking out the different modes, and getting it set up for use. In today's video, the main focus is going to be on the control unit, the set of electrode wires, and the electro pads themselves. First, let's take a look at the control unit. On the left side, we have a power button, and then you have your AB group with a positive and minus symbol on it. This is gonna allow you to change the intensity more or less during a session. On the right side of the unit, we have a setting button, we have our mode button, and similar to the other side, we have another group, the CD group with the plus and minus indicators. And on the very top of the unit, we have our inputs for the electrode wires that'll lead to the pads. First, let's power on the unit. A simple tap of the power button and the unit quickly turns on. If you continue to press the power button while it's on, you'll be able to cycle through a built-in timer for your upcoming session and you can set it and forget it for up to 60 minutes at a time. If you ever need to turn the unit off, long press the power button and it'll turn off in a couple seconds. Next in understanding the operation of the unit is what mode do you want to be in? TENS, massage, or EMS? On the right side we have our mode setting button and if you press it you can see it starts to toggle through each different mode whether that's TENS, massage, or EMS. From there you have 12 different programs you can choose from and you can select those with the middle button here. You're going to notice as I press the program button it goes through each one. Now an important side note is that you'll notice that these little programs represent a particular part of the body. However, these are just a general recommendation of where you might want to put the electrodes on your body, but it is not mandatory. Ultimately, it's going to be up to you to explore and experiment with these different program modes and find which one works best for you and on what part of your body. Keep in mind the unit won't work if nothing is connected to it, so now we're going to connect the lead wires, the electro pads, and ultimately to the body. If you only want to massage one part of the body, two pads minimum are required, but you could do two zones on a single lead and up to four zones total. Take the main lead wire and simply plug it in to each pad. It doesn't matter which one goes to which one. And the same thing with the other set of pads if doing more than one area. For ease of demonstration, I'll be using this on my forearm. It's important to note that one pad alone will not work. You need at least two, and ideally in somewhat of a close proximity of the muscle or area that you're trying to target. Then plug the lead in. It could be A, B, or C, D. It really doesn't matter. It only matters on how you control it from what side of the device. And I'm going to decide what type of mode do I want. TENS, massage, or EMS. I think I'm going to go with massage. Now I'm going to choose my program, and remember, these are just recommendations for areas you could use the electrodes, but I actually like the lower back massage, and I'm going to use that for my forearm. From here, I can use the plus and minus button to turn up the intensity until I feel stimulation that I like, which is right there. And I also have this not only on the forearm, but my bicep as well. So the AB group is controlled collectively, and that stem pulse is going to go to both sets of pads, regardless of where you have them on the body. After about 30 seconds of your session starting, you'll notice a little key or a lock icon in the upper left-hand corner. That's to prevent any accidental pushes of the mode or program button changing mid-massage. If you ever need to deactivate that, you can hit the minus button on either side and it will open it up and allow you to use the controls once again. Don't forget that you can always hit the power button to set the timer or increase the length in the middle of your massage. Remember, whatever side you're plugged into is the side that you can control. So if you're hitting the C and D button, nothing is gonna happen because nothing is plugged in there for the stem machine to operate. Last but not least, don't forget you can control four areas total with this unit between the A, B, C, and D. And regardless of what program you have selected, you could have a session on the arms and legs, the legs and the back, or any other combination as you see fit.